In this video, I'll show you how to easily output uh, to shapefile format data that you downloaded from ARC Online and integrate it into an MXD file. First thing we'll do is launch our slideshow. In this particular frame, you'll see that I've downloaded some data from Arc Online. It's displayed uh, by changing the symbology into a Coreflef application. So uh, there's some attribute of this particular data set that is being reflected in Coreflef or thematic format. At this time, you should go ahead and create a subfolder on your C drive in the project folder uh, and name it in some way where uh, it's appropriate for housing the shapefile that you will ultimately help with. In this particular slide, you'll notice that I have my toolbox, my ARC toolbox, visible over top of the table of contents. I choose to dock the ARC toolbox and the results layer over top of the table of contents so I can quickly just down at the bottom here toggle back and forth between those. In this particular slide what we've done is we've expanded conversion tools and we've expanded to shape file and I've double left clicked on feature class to shape file multiple. Now this particular procedure works with vector data. At this particular window, um, I've clicked the drop down here and I see all of the feature classes that are displayed, layers, if you will, in this particular GIS. And I've highlighted PR underscore BAS underscore IND, which is the file that I downloaded. Next, we choose the output folder and that was a drop down on the previous window and I've highlighted the folder that I created on the C drive uh, inside the project folder only highlight it do not open it and click the add button so this is what the screen should look like after you've done that um, no input features up here the input feature is now here that's the layer and here's the location where um, the shapefile will be output to. And that's the folder I described. Left click on the OK button. While the, pro while the, uh, the layer is processing, you will see its progress down here in the lower right. When it's finished, you should get a green check in the feature class to shapefile multiple box should pop up for a moment. If you have any problems with this, um, you'll get a um, indication here that there's been some issue. But in this particular instance, everything seems to be output properly. Now we want to click the Add Data button up here, and we're going to navigate to the folder again. Only click on the folder and left-click on the Add button. The folder will open up and we should have a polygon shape file in here for PR underscore BAS underscore IND. You'll notice that the naming convention is preserved and we're going to click the add button. Um, this is the geographic coordinate systems warning that uh, tells you that there may have to be some transformations that take place. Uh, this particular Shapefile is uh, WGS1984, Geographic Coordinate System. Um, my suggestion is just close this and um, don't modify. ARC knows what to do with this material. So click Close. And uh, your new feature class shapefile will be displayed as a layer up here. And you'll notice that now the symbology has not been preserved but you've successfully converted um, a layer that was really not a feature class into a feature class. Now in the shapefile format, you can move uh, across um, different platforms. You can integrate it into an InterGraph GIS, or you can integrate it into a new ARC GIS project that you're using. So now you have a permanent database shapefile format. So that's the end of this presentation.